And Brad Ausmus got to enjoy Mario and Rod <laughs> for about eight and a half innings today. Much like you at home, he had the same vantage point because he was watching this one in his office. There is sort of a, a signal that managers have. It's basically earmuffs. Earmuffs like that, which means I want you to, I want to challenge, I want you to go to the headphones. The umpires will then go to New York. They'll take a look at the replay and then they'll challenge the call or not challenge the call, depending on how it is viewed. Well, Brad Osmus, in the opinion of Manny Gonzalez and Field and Culbreth, waited a little too long to make the earmuffs signal, and that led to a dispute, and that led to Osmus getting ejected. So, Gene Lamont stepped in as the interim manager, as he often has, and he gets the chance to reflect back on a 10-1 Tiger victory with Mickey York. Well, Jim, got to be pleased uh, once again what the offense was able to do for you this afternoon. Well, you know, we've kind of the last few days got our bats going, and we're not like we did every you know, last two days. But you know, we've almost say we've been in a team slump, but uh, hopefully we've broken out. The biggest takeaway from today, what what Zimmerman was able to give you? Yeah, Zim, you know, he's kind of a work in progress. He struggled a little bit, but he and Rich been working real hard. Uh, I thought today his stuff was better, but but I think the main thing was control. He just made better pitches. You're standing in for Brad. What was the bone of contention there on, on the challenge? Well, what happened, you know, the, the, the clock goes, and it's 30 seconds, and uh, as a rule, they've given you more time than that. They, they stopped it right at, I guess, 30, maybe 35, I don't know, and, and we wanted to challenge. And I guess it just, uh, you know, I guess by the letter of the, what the rule says, maybe it was the right way, but uh, there's been, you know, we've had a lot more time than that. Is that the first time you've seen a team get busted for that? I mean, like you said, usually they... You know, well, you know, it just came this year. It became this year 30 seconds. That's why they put the clock on. But uh, I, that's the first time I've seen it, yeah. Has there been some overall frustration with the, the, the challenge and review process from, from your guys' perspective? This no, I think it's worked all right. You know, I mean, it's it's here to stay. Why, you know, why, why fight it? And, uh, you know, I think it shows that uh, you don't want a game to be decided by maybe a call. And you, I think you see also... You know, they got to slow it down to it's slow, slow motion uh, to tell if it's right or not. And, you know, I think it shows the umpires are pretty good. Were you guys pretty confident that, that, that he was safe on I don't know about that. You know, uh, Matt's pretty good. He said challenge. So, uh, and you probably saw it more than I did. Did, did it look like, do you think Brad might get suspended? I mean, it did seem like there was some no, different contact. No, I'd be very surprised. I don't. There was no contact. I think maybe. Well, it looked like he wiped some. Well, maybe what happened to be spit. <laughs> well, I, I think it was, you know. When you're talking, sometimes something comes out of your mouth. I think he, I, I, I would be very surprised if uh, he was suspended. Is that as animated as you've seen him in one of those situations? Well, you know, the other day, you know, the last year he covered home plate. So, you know, I, I, we said it, and I told Brad, I said, you know, it's kind of the replay thing is kind of taken away. One of the real, I don't say important parts, but the part of the game that the argument, you know, the fans like the arguments. And it's kind of taken that away, so it was a good one today. Yeah, Alex Presley <laughs> in the field said he loves to see the fire, and you can tell that the fans love it too. I mean, well, you know, that's kind of uh, what they come to see, maybe. And, and like I said, the replay, it just uh, there's just not as many arguments. It's it's balls and strikes about the only thing you really argue about now. You, you get those four runs with two outs there in the fourth. How, how big was that, especially Presley getting that inning kind of ignited for you with the the single and, and the stolen base? There? Well, you know, we just need to keep adding on, and we did. You know. Uh, uh, you know, we got some guys. Hopefully, that uh, I don't say it's season-long slump by any means, but they've you know really got themselves going. And you know, a lot of times I think uh, hitting's contagious. Hopefully, it is. Do you think there's a good example of three-game winning streaks, 25 rounds in two games? I think it's a good example that one long bad road trip kind of doesn't define the team. Well, I think you know during the season you're going to see everybody's going to have some bad streaks, and you you know somebody gets hot, and everybody jumps on their bandwagon. They play bad. Everybody jumps off right away. So, uh, you know, we're a confident team. Uh, we know we can play better than we have, and hopefully this is the start of something good. Stringing together a couple of series wins back-to-backs. It's been a while since you've been able to do that. It, you're getting to that point in the season where you need to start stringing some more of these together, right? Well, yeah, you know, you need to, that's what you need to do, win series. Hopefully maybe sweep some. You know, we got a chance to do that tomorrow, so we'll see what happens. All right. Keith, I think.